Well, hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Welcome to the channel. So today what I wanted to do was share with you a pack that I got recently. I've only had it about two weeks, so this is by no means a long-term review. It's mainly my first impressions, what I think of the pack so far. It's the L.L. Bean Continental Rucksack. Stay tuned, let's take a look. So before I take the pack off and show it to you in more detail, I just want to show you how it rides on my shoulders. So just a point of reference for you, I'm 5'8", and this is what it looks like on my back. So as you can see, it's a pretty good loadout. I packed what I normally would pack on a day hike, and I weighed it before I left, including food, water, all my tools and gear, just under 21 pounds. And at around 21 pounds these shoulder straps feel pretty good so let's take the pack off now and show it to you in more detail So one thing that really drew me to this pack was its ability to store an axe in this side sleeve. So these pockets on the side are open in the back, they're open in the bottom, so you can slide an axe or any other tool all the way through. This is a 19 inch axe, just to show you how it fits. Pretty handy. I like that feature a lot. So just one or two quick specs. Now this pack is 33 liters overall. It weighs about 2 pounds 9 ounces. The dimensions are 18 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 6.5 and inches deep. Now structurally, the body of the pack is made from 1200 denier wax polyester. This pack is lined. It's lined with 210 denier nylon. And the bottom of the pack is made out of 600 denier nylon. Now the stitching seems very well done on this pack in my opinion. Double stitched where it counts. And here at the stress points, as you can see it's reinforced very well. So this of course is just a first impressions. What I think of the pack. And uh, so far I really like it. I like the style of this pack. I like the way it looks. I like the color that I ordered this one in. And as far as the way it's designed, I like a bucket style pack with a lid, a bucket lid like this a pouch on each side, a pouch up front. There are no zippers, well just one zipper on the inside. I prefer buckles because zippers can fail. It seems to be well stitched. In my uh, experience, when a pack fails, it'll fail at the stitching and zippers will also break. So hopefully time will tell whether this pack will last in the long run. So, turning the pack around, it looks like a really traditional pack, but it has a few modern features. Uh, these shoulder straps are ergonomically designed. They seem to be adequately padded. They felt really good on my shoulders carrying a 21 pound load. They're adjustable, of course, with these buckles. There is a sternum strap here, which is fully adjustable uh, length and up and down. There's one other feature which you may have noticed. I was using this hip belt. The hip belt I probably won't use very often because I don't intend on putting heavy loads. And if you're not using the hip belt, one nice thing is you can just tuck it in behind like that out of the way. So as you can see on top of this bucket lid there are some nice straps. I had my kneeling pad strapped in there, but they're adequate. You could certainly put a sweater or a tripod or anything else in there. It's a nice feature to have the ability to strap something to the lid. So the bottom has straps as well with these nice buckles. I was able to get my 5 foot by 6 foot wool blanket strapped to the bottom of the pack. But if there's one criticism, I wish these straps were just a little bit longer. Even six or eight inches would make it a lot easier to strap a wool blanket or a large jacket to the bottom of this pack. But nevertheless, it's nice to have the straps there. So 
So the outside pockets on this pack are actually pretty large and pretty ample. In this side pouch here, besides having the ability to store tools in behind, it's a very good size. So in here I have the lid to my canteen cup, a spork, I was also able to fit my Pathfinder canteen set, the cup and the canteen itself. So that's pretty good capacity. Over on the other side, lots of room for a shemog. A small puffy jacket could definitely fit in this side pocket as well. But I'm really happy with the size of these pockets actually. So lots of room in this front pouch as well for all the goodies that you need to get at quickly. Here I have a flint and steel kit, piece of fat wood, spare knife, pair of gloves, Baco Laplander, Firebox Nano, Ferro Rod, and I even have room for this grill. So that's pretty good capacity. So I do want to show you the inside of the pouch and a few features, but before I do, I'll just show you the few things that I was able to fit in here today. Now I certainly did not overstuff this by any means. There's still lots of room. So simple drawstring enclosure. Gives you a nice big opening and it's a bucket style pack. So in there I have my knife for today. Pretty good sized tarp, five by seven tarp. My possibles pouch. And as well, just a brew kit in case I feel like a cup of coffee, which I usually do. And that's everything I had in the pack today. So inside the pack, it's very simple. There's a small pouch here with a zipper. That is also lined with a soft material, so it's a perfect spot for a cell phone or for your electronics. Wallet, car keys, what have you. That's nice to have. And there is another pocket in the back with a buckle. You could also fit electronics in there as well. You could also put a hydration bladder, so it's hydration bladder compatible. That's kind of a nice feature. And there's a Velcro strap to secure your hydration bladder. Other than that, the inside is one big bucket. So as I said, this pack is hydration bladder compatible. And there is a port on the side for the bladder hose to come out so you can access it. What do you know it's snowing again thanks very much for stopping by guys i really do appreciate it thanks for looking at the overview of my ll bean continental rucksack so this is just my first impressions as i move forward and use it more i will get a better handle on the overall quality and i'll certainly let you know what i think so if you're not a subscriber please subscribe you can subscribe by clicking on the icon up here in this corner or maybe this corner but please do Give me a thumbs up as well and the comment section down below is not just for me guys you can let your opinions known you can even start a discussion amongst yourselves so please leave a comment i do appreciate it very much so we'll see you on the next one but in the meantime take care